Hello everybody, I guess I'm live again. Thank you so much for being here whenever you will be watching this. Thank you so much for watching it. We are again here with another episode of men's mental health series where the topic for today is three ways to cope up stress at the workplace. As we all know, stress plays a very vital role in balancing our lives and it's very important for all of us to know how we can develop those skills under ourselves so that we should not be dependent on outside world to be there and to be available for ourselves not for the others so stress is something which we all fight on a very very you know everyday basis but this is something which is related to the workplace and for this i have a special guest today with me again Dr. Raju Patel, he's a life coach for all of us and he would be telling us more in-depth knowledge about how we can take, uh, you know, uh, those skills within ourselves and fight that stress at the workplace. So I hope he'll be joining us soon and uh, I'll just wait for him. Uh, hi to everybody who is joining us right now. Uh, I'm very happy that you all, you know, come in and give that motivation to uh, us it's it's commendable uh it's a very special day today we have father's day so from this platform i would like to wish every father happy father's day thank you for all your support the support which we see the support which we do not happy father's day to everybody from all of us um i'll be waiting for coach raju to join us i there let me see and wave a hi Hey, all right, he's there. Hi, Coach Raju, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm perfectly fine. It's a great day, Sunday, sunny morning, best of my life. Yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, and I was just wondering, you know, last time, well, the other last twice that we've done this now, my, um, my vocals haven't come out right, so I don't know, can you hear me clearly? I can hear you clearly. I'm, okay. I'm perfectly all right. I hope audience can also clear, you know, clearly hear us because um, yeah. I don't know. Like on live, you are perfectly clear. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. Yeah, that's fine. You're great. Okay, yeah. so yes, welcome again to another episode on Men's Mental Health Series. Thank you so much for being our special guest. And I was just telling all the audience that today we have to cover the topic, which is so common like stress everybody wants to run from it but especially when it is it comes to the workplace it mm -hmm. plays a great role in our lives because workplace is a place where we spend most of our time and if we take that stress at home it eventually will affect our personal plus professional life so yes it's it's a great way for uh, you uh, actually for us to learn and you to share how how we would you know cope up and develop those skills where we can self-help ourselves instead of depending on the others and uh, prior to that i would like to wish happy father's day to everybody out there because we chose such a great day and i'm happy that you are with us so over to you yeah uh, that's great yeah thanks uh, for that vertigo uh, yeah and happy father's day everybody um so yeah i want to start with um so we got the three coping mechanisms um that yeah. we now, we will, we might not even go on coping mechanisms as such, but what I will tell you is three things that will change the way you perceive stress, um, the way you, and then the way you, um, well, let's just start with how you perceive stress, okay? Then yeah, we'll, yeah. Then we'll, let's, uh, let's move in that one. Because okay. as, I, as I go, we'll follow one. So, right. So, see now, the issue isn't how... The issue isn't our workplace on where we work and the issue isn't yourself either. So if you're stressed at work, it's not you or neither your work that you're doing. But what it might be is the outcome to the work. Now, normally in life, the outcome is on our head. So if anything goes wrong, that's on our head. So we can handle that because we will take the loss. But when it comes to work, the company will take the loss. And when the company takes the loss, then you will take the loss because you need right. financially stable with this job and you True. need this work um, to then continue to survive and pay your bills or, you know, look after your family and so forth. So it's very important. Stress in work is very important. When it's in your life, it doesn't really matter as much because whatever you're going to take the hit on, you're going to handle it yourself. 
So yeah. So now, rather than you, it's, it, it all depends on how you perceive the stress. Now, so if you're perceiving the stress as it for it to be bad for you, and this is backed up with a lot of research, that if you yeah. perceive it to be, back, to be bad for you, then this will then affect you more, and then you would try and run away from the stress, and then you won't be able to gain any endurance from this stress. So then you won't right. be able to handle the stress next time when it comes. Now, if when it's bad for you, anything is bad for you, because you're not being able to handle the stress, every time you're going into the flight or flight response, when, you, when you're in stress, you're going in stress, you're coming out, you're going in stress, you're coming out, okay. that's bad for you. You know, that can develop lots of cancers and it can, you know, a lot of health issues. Um, but when you perceive stress as good for you, it changes the whole game. Okay. Yeah. Stress so, is good for me. I should think that, my love. Yes. Is what you're saying? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you need to see. Interesting. Stress. Yeah. So you need to, to, to see stress um, that is good for you. And I'm going to tell you how and why you should know, but it should work. Okay. I'm back on yeah so yeah. now the more we see stress now why it's good for you is because it transforms you okay so years ago if you talk to our parents they'll say what is anxiety what is depression what is stress like they won't know these things because they knew that regardless we have to work you know it's we need to make right. money right whereas especially in the UK when you're getting the government helping you when you when you're jobless these things occur for you, stress occurs for you, depression occurs for you, anxiety occurs for you. And what you need to understand is that when you are stressed, you're, you're transforming into a stronger person. So right. back in the day when, um, say, if there's a lion in the, in, 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 in the jungle, you see that lion, you're, you need to obviously stress because it's your survival instinct now. So now when you stress, everything now will shut down in your body. Okay, so your immune system will shut down. Um, everything that's not needed will shut down. Your blood will rush down to your feet. So then you'll be able to run from this lion. Right. Okay. And if you need to fight the lion, then you'll get strength within you to fight the lion. Now, at that time, when you've got a lot of stress at work, and a lot of things are going on, or you've got a lot of work going on, at that time, that lion's in front of you. Now what you're doing is you're deep breathing. Like, how is that going to work? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You're drinking tea. You're trying to listen to music. The lion's in front of you. You need to either run or you need to either fight. It's, fight. it's one or the other. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So this is where we go wrong. What the symptoms are coming are like in, in this, um, what the symptoms are and how we perceive stress is that no matter how much we try and run from it, that's how much harder it will always get. So I think perceiving the stress is, is, is the best one where you're telling yourself, okay, I'm stressed. Now, what is, you know, why am I getting stressed? Mm -hmm. So what the reason is, you need to focus on that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So let's yeah. go on to the second point. Um, is there anything else you want to say on that? No, what? so that's, I'm actually understanding that instead of running from that uh, situation, that is what you're saying, you need to face it. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. Right. That's, exactly. that's a great point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, changing the perception of your mind—that's that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. basic part. Yeah. Yeah. See, because if you don't perceive it correctly, if you don't perceive stress correctly, all this information that people are giving out, especially online, do yeah. deep thing, um, listen to music, go for a walk, you know, go for a run. Yes, it will work, but it'll only work for a bit. True. Okay, and that's a bit like the lion's in front of you and you're closing your eyes, you're doing deep breathing and thinking, oh, the lion can't see me. Of course the lion can see you, <laughs> you know, even in your own head, you're saying. Yes, of you're course, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah, right. so you information right. yourself. No, the lion can't see me, the lion can't see me. Yes, that will work for a time being, but after that, it won't work. The lion will back. Yeah. And now, because you have failed, this will now then make you more receptive, more like, you know, stress will always come to you. You'll always just get used to it. Anything little happens, you get stressed. So it's right. best. Yeah. So it's best to have stress even at a younger age, even at with children. It's best they see that stress rather than as parents. If we keep nurturing them and then saying, you know, let's not get them stressed. Let's not get them stressed. But then when they grow up, especially now, they're all in this virtual world on the internet, and when they come to face reality with face-to-face -face stuff, they can't handle it. Yeah. 
because they've right. never, never handled it before. I mean, we're our parents, they can handle it with us now. You know, there's a, there is that 50-50 now, you know, but, but in the future, this, this, this is going to go crazy. Like there's going to be higher stress levels, high anxiety, depression, because right. no one can face to face. It's more about, you know, being online and, you know, talking, texting and stuff like that. And that really and truly that don't, you know, um, work in that sense. So yeah, so perceive it correctly. Stress is good for you. If you perceive it as it's bad for you and run away from it, then obviously you won't get used to it. And then your, your health, your physical health will go bad because right. of Disease is just your body at ease, you know, at dis-ease. So because your body at dis-ease now, you're, you're more receptive to, like, cancer and, and so forth. So really yeah. bad. Okay. So let's go on to not focusing on the symptoms of stress. Okay. So now when you're at work, you'd normally get a lot of um, pressure, okay? Because that's what stress is. Yeah. When your boss has told you, okay, you need to do A, B, and C within this time frame, which is right. totally understandable. You know, they want to make money. You need a job. So when they've gave you the, all that, now you're, start, you're going to start to get stressed because you're perceiving that you can't handle this. You know what I mean? Now, right. you perceive that you can't handle this. Yes, you can turn around and say, oh, let's not get stressed. Watch. But yes, some people can't. You know what I mean? So like, I put you or you put me. We both will bleed. So it's objective. But stress... Right. Objective, you might stress less, I might stress more, depending on how we are being brought up, what we face, what we've done in life. Yeah. So these symptoms now, the stress is there. Now we can't do nothing about it. Now, the more you focus on the symptoms, the more you won't fight or flight, you will stay in freeze. So you'll stay in like going for medication, you will stay in like going for um, all the other, you know, deep breathing exercise, go for a walk, go for a yeah. Yeah. because now you're only focusing on the symptoms same with anxiety same with depression this is all the same the more you focus on the symptoms the more worse it's going to be for you now right. if you focus on what you need to do to not focus on the symptoms to get rid of the stress but the best way to get rid of the stress is get the job done <laughs> Get the job done. True, true. <laughs> because uh, now I'm I'm relating why because when I was working, I have yeah. incidents where one of my employee he was so much stressed with the work and the additional responsibilities which were given to him that his manager decided, okay, you take one week break and go do that to you know uh, stress free workshops and you know to those counselors who help you to deal with the stress. But yeah. after a week when he returned, he was all okay. But the the moment he entered into the same profile again with those responsibilities coming in on a daily basis, he again went back to the same zone, stressed. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Because he because eventually he has to face that. So yeah. you know, so yeah. those things won't work until unless we don't change our perception now. This is quite relatable in organizations actually. Yeah, right? yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of companies have understood that and, you know, they're, they're not working with, oh, no, you just get the job done nowadays. You know, things have right. changed. You know, so now they're like, okay, you know, but I think we'll get, get to that. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, things have changed now, you know what I mean? Um, we'll get to that when we go into, like, priorities and, you know, right. and on your um, stress levels. But, yeah, so if you are stressed, I think it's – obviously, we spoke about the fear – the outcome of what's what's going to happen so obviously if you know in your head that you can't get this done by this time you're obviously going to get stressed now how do you be confident like you said that this person obviously went back to their normal natural state of being stressed yeah. Yeah. How do you be confident? so if you i've got a job uh, interview now if you have done your questions initially you'll be stressed right Learned what you need to learn about the company, about how you're going to present yourself, what you're going to say, what might the questions be, what might the answers be. You will still stress, but it will be less. Your anxiety levels will be there, but it will be less. So yeah. the only way to obviously defeat stress is obviously, first of all, face it. And second of all, be prepared for it. Right. You know what I'm trying to say. So if you're not in yourself, then obviously you're going to get stressed. It's, it's natural, you know what I mean? Like, right. you know, if I come onto this live now and I don't know what I'm going to talk about and I'm just going to, you know, just wing it, you know, like people say. And then 
you know, it, it doesn't go well. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to be stressing throughout. But the minute I've worked out, okay, you know what? These are the three points that we're going to speak about in this. Um, and that's it. That's done. So now I'm, I'm stressing less because I know exactly what I'm going to say with these three points. Right. right. Say, the preparation that, preparation. We, yeah, that we need to look into because the symptoms are going to be there. If you prepare, then you won't get the symptoms. If you won't get the symptoms, you won't stress. So don't focus on the stress of the symptoms of the stress. Focus on your preparation. Yeah. Now, what will happen is when you are stressed, if you haven't prepared and, and you are in stress, what work that needs to be done, you're not, your brain, you ain't giving that amount of, you know, time or, or yeah. thinking around what needs to be done because now your brain is switching off because now you're going into stress because right. this is what's going to happen. When the line is in front mm -hmm. of you, your heart's going to be pumping. You know what I mean? It's going to be pumping, but this is yeah. you to handle the stress, not to say, oh, get rid of the stress and then I won't be able to, you know, and then I don't want this or I don't want to handle it. You know, right. so I think the more um, we, we get scared of our mistakes as well, I think that brings us more stress as well. So right. if, uh, if there is a decision that you need to make or there is a lot of work that you need to do, and now you don't want to make a mistake in that work at work, then you're going to obviously stress. So you fear from mis making mistakes. You know what I mean? Like right. it's back to preparation. If you've, if you've got a job role, if you're not ready for that job role, get prepared for that job role. Even if you've got the job, you need to make sure you can do that work. Now, if you've had a promotion and you can't obviously do that job, that role, then you're going to stress because you haven't prepared yourself to be this person. So right. you have to go back down, rather than you losing your job, it's best you go back down, learn what you need to learn, and then come back, come back up, come back forward. So I think making the mistakes is another problem where sometimes you're gonna, everyone makes mistakes, you have to make mistakes to learn. You know what I mean? But then right. if you're gonna stress and not make the mistakes and you're not gonna learn and you're not gonna improve because you're hiding away from stress. Right. Yeah. So right. I think that's the um, third point, uh, second point, sorry, is the symptoms of the stress. Don't yeah. focus on them. Now, if you really look at it, what else can bring the symptoms on at work generally is your colleagues as well. Because yes, different, yes, so you know, true. Yeah, right. yeah. So everyone's different. And then we start to expect things from our colleagues, our colleagues yeah. expect from us. If we do A, B, and C, they'll always say, well, well you haven't done D. So, you know, <laughs> I think yeah. that's the other thing that we need to look at is that, yes, this brings me on to my third point, is prioritize yourself first. You know what I mean? You can do work for others, you can help them out, but get your mm. stuff done first. If your stuff ain't done and you're helping Joe Blogs in the next office, and then your work ain't done, obviously you're gonna stress. You know what I mean? Obviously you're right. obviously you're not right. proud of yourself. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, there's helping others to, you know, um, when, you, when it comes to controlling your stress levels and prioritizing yourself, there's obviously your mental well-being and your physical well-being as well, and not just other people's work. Yeah. You know? So if you know your mental well-being ain't at what it needs to be and you feel that you need some time off or whatever it is, Rather than you going to work and then stressing and maybe even get sacked, it's best you take some time out, get your mental, mental well-being in place or if it's your physical health, get that in place so then you stress less because this is just going to add on. You know what I mean? Because right. you are the most, you're the, the biggest priority. You know, you are the sure. biggest thing in your life, you know, right. when you work. Obviously, survival for money or whatever it is, you're the biggest thing. So you need to be honest with yourself. And sometimes you need to communicate that to others. So, you know, if your workplace, you need to say, no, I can't do the job. I can't do the work. I've already got enough work as it is. If it's your right. boss, tell them, you know, okay, yeah, you know, I could do this, 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 but I might need help with this. You know, can you get something in place for, you know, for this or, you know, so forth or whatever it is? Because what tends to happen is at work, we want to be all good and we want to be the best and we want yeah. to you know, do good for the company and you know do good in the interview and, and do well and um, I, I, I totally understand that but it's not you know the sprinters 
they don't last long. So if you put your all in in the first week, the next week you're going to be stressed. You're true. Gonna... So oh. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a marathon. Yeah, yeah. It's a marathon. You need to go slowly. You need to make sure everything else in place is running smoothly as well, including you. And you come first. So as long as you're steady, you're not getting stressed. You're doing the work. You're improving. You're learning. Rather than you sprinting, it's best you go slow and get that, you know, uh, marathon kind of thing um, in place. Um, and obviously, if there's any sort of post-traumatic stress disorders in your past, like you know, any sort of stress that you've had to handle in the past, but you haven't sorted it out, and you've done what. I've mentioned in these in the first two where you've run away from stress, then it's best you get that sorted first. Take some time, whatever, and go back to it because that will add on to the stress, and you won't ever know. You'll always think that it's the present time where you're stressing about, but it's yeah. in your past that you haven't resolved or you know sorted out. Obviously, get some counselling in place or, or so forth in terms of that. I'll talk to someone about it. Let the emotions, yeah. and when you're at yeah. work, you'll go more smooth and more steady. True. In your, uh, I was just thinking in the third point which you said that you know uh, you have to learn to say no to yeah. other people. So uh, I just have a question because I have seen that in the workplaces where I work that there are few people who who are very you know introvert in nature and they have they have this problem when they can't say no. They'll take up everything <laughs> on themselves, yeah. but they. Uh, cannot say no to their maybe managers their supervisors or maybe their colleagues like they they just can't say no and maybe because they always you know want to be um, a good person for everybody a helping okay. person yeah. maybe it's there in the nature and they don't know how to create those boundaries as in personal life of course we know that you know creating boundaries around ourselves is very important creating those limitations where nobody can cross but these guys they uh, won't be able to perform in the organization because they don't know how to say no there is some place where they are already stressed but they can't say no what what tip or what uh, you know phenomena you have for them to cope up with their this behavior where they would eventually get stressed if they'll not say no so how would they cope up with this situation well, well yeah i would um the next time anybody asks me for anything, I will say no. That's the first thing I'll do from today onwards. The first thing that anyone asks me for, I will say no straight away. No matter what that is, no matter what it is, and I'll stick to it. Now, that person, whoever's asked something, they will find a way. They will. Yeah. Because they've asked you, there, is, there will be someone else that can help them. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, I think... The more we see, obviously, what you said is, is, is totally right. What it is, is that it's that fear of this person will probably stop liking me or, you know, Maybe, yeah. it no more. I won't be in the group no more. You know, people start talking about me or right. um, maybe one day when I need something, they might not be there for me. It's that fear yeah. Yeah, that, you know, I need to keep helping. I need to be this good person. You know, and I don't want them to feel bad. That's the main right. one. Is I don't That's want them the to feel yeah. bad. Yeah. But you're making this worse for your own self because right. the more you nurture people, like obviously, um, um, this I heard this with the I think it was in uh, it was it was in Krishna in the Mahabharata or something where they, where they're seeing a, a cow and the baby cow and the baby cow was bleeding but the the mom mother cow was still licking the baby cow consistently and kept on doing it and they said that this is what will happen in the future where no matter how much pain they're going through or the issues that they have the mother will still always feel bad and always try and you know nurture this child but this will be worse for this child so the more you say no, the more better you're doing for that person. You actually give them, giving them uh, a better sense of responsibility or to handle life in a better way or whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So whatever it is, even if, it's, um, even if it's a pencil or a pen tomorrow, the more you say no, the more easier it will get for you. So obviously you can start with small, small things like just say no, just saying, and you know what's going what's gonna to happen is nothing. Nothing's going to happen. If they can't get the pen from you, they'll get it from, to, from someone right. else. Yeah. No, but it's not about that it's about you just saying no the more no you say the more better it'll be for you and for that person because you're not helping them you're really spoiling them 
right true true yeah. this this go same scenario like what you discussed in the first point that if you are spoiling your children by uh, giving the them a stress free environment and when they'll go in the real world and face the stress then how would they behave and they'll be like uh, terrified the same mm-hmm. goes here mm-hmm. uh it's just the moment of you know getting that courage of saying no first time because i know that's very that's very difficult for such kind of people it's just the first time if you have yeah. to initiate yeah. and maybe later they can you know uh, simplify their life and uh, maintain that uh, team player skill which everybody wants yeah because you your priority you're the first person in your right. your list your family anything you the top person then everything will come because if you're not there yourself you ain't got a job you ain't got a family you ain't got nothing so right. if you have to say no for that you know and i know a lot of um like in terms of mental health as well a lot of fathers you know they would go through their day they would say no or well, yes or they would do so much what they can but they might not able to fulfill the expectations of their family and in the night they will cry quietly they will cry quietly in the night and the next morning they'll have to go and deal with these expectations of their family members and they won't tell no one they won't tell no one they they will cry quietly you know and it's it's okay like it's perfectly fine to cry but you need to say no if you can't handle it right you need to get that help you need to either train your children or even if it's your wife like you yeah. need to tell them that you know this is where we at and if they really love you they will understand you know and i think the more we hide our emotions and be strong with men's mental health the more worse it gets for us so it's best to True. say there and then and not thinking that oh i don't want that other person to feel bad and then suck up to yourself in the night that's right that's not right. correct that's not correct True. yeah you come back yeah. so so thank you so much for sharing that because you just connected that to the father's day because eventually oh, the right. father yeah. is supposed to be the strongest figure in the family but a father should learn how to say no to their children when they have you know a demand they have such demands which cannot be accomplished and which are not you know good enough for them so that's a good tip for the fathers on father's day thank yeah. you so much for that uh yeah but with that is needed because i remember that being when when we are young and we ask our parents to give us this or that or we have a list for them they they never express in front of us but i know that somewhere inside their heart they're having a mini heart attack that oh my god I, how how we are going to accomplish this how we are going to get that for our children and they they do their best they work 24/7 just to get those stuff for us instead of that they should say no they should start saying no to the children for for their demands which is really good that's again will take a lot of thing a uh, lot of courage to say yeah. no i know as a father it's very difficult but yeah. it's only the matter of saying once and let them know why why they are saying no yeah it's tough Not love just no yeah it's tough love you have to put that stone exactly. on yeah. true Okay so that's great thank you so much for those three uh, self coping skills which you just mentioned the organization and we not only discuss the organizations we also discuss the you know personal at family level how a man can cope up with those stress levels and can uh, take up all the family members and their loved ones with themselves because as we know those who love us they'll be with us and those who don't they won't understand us ever So it's okay it's okay to not do things for them and get ourselves ruined and stressed just because we want to be in their good books there's no point right so uh thank you so much for that uh, raju and thank you so much for coming for this session i really love your sessions especially yes. you are part of of men's mental health series and it's such a beautiful day to take time off from um, your sunday and father's day thank you so much for that Uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, it was good talking to you, um, Vertiga. Yeah. The live and it's uh, done. Right. Yeah. So I really love that. So thank you so much, and thank you for the audience to who, whosoever has joined us. If you want to reach out to discuss that in more detail, you can DM uh, Raju. You can DM me. You can reach out to us for any kind of uh, you know topic you want us to discuss on this platform, so that you can you know relate that to your life and get 
uh, a stable a fruitful a uh, mentally healthy life because this gender of the society is really really important to us it's not only today that we appreciate fathers efforts which we are they, they are doing for their families but every single day we need to appreciate that and for that i'm so happy that you are here for discussing and showing that you know commitment is so important for every one of us but we need our family to support us right okay. so we need their support thank you so much uh with that let's say bye and let's get yeah. on again yeah. with the, some other session soon yeah, yeah 100% have a good sure. one all right then bye. okay bye thank you so much guys who are joining in right now please go and check the igtv you will get the full video over there we discussed three ways to cope up with self uh, cope up with stress and uh, if you want to reach out you can reach out to us thank you thank yeah. you raju yeah, bye bye okay bye bye all right